first ingredient is a thing. People ask me about first ingredient all the time. Ingredient lists are heavily manipulated. Um, they're based on weight and not volume. And so a good visual that I try to um, share with you guys is um, when you're thinking of the ingredient list and you say, okay, the number one ingredient, that means it's the most. No, it means it's the heaviest. And so think of two glass jars. In one glass jar, you have a really heavy item and that would be like a lead fishing weight. And that one lead fishing weight only fills the very, the very bottom of the um, mason jar. And then in the other mason jar, it's filled with something like, let's say, cotton. Cotton weighs very little. And that fills the entire volume of the mason jar. If it's what you're in, he in your head you're thinking, you're thinking, oh, well, if I'm putting these in the ingredient list, the first ingredient would be that cotton because that's the most. That's not the case. What the ingredient list is actually telling you is what's the heaviest. So it was actually putting that lead fishing weight first. And so they manipulate that ingredient list on purpose because it's easy for them to do. And somebody a way long time ago decided, hey, we can really do something easy because it's on the package and we can really manipulate consumers if we say, look at that first ingredient because we can put an ingredient really heavy with water and not actually put a lot of the ingredient, but just make it go to the front of the list because it's heavier. And so I don't like playing that game. I don't want you to play that game either. So that's why I don't put a whole lot of weight on the ingredient list because it's manipulated and it would be very hard Hard to get down for the average consumer down to the to the bare bones of it we would really have to do some digging and maybe visit the the plant we'd have to you know not pay attention to all the marketing stuff and all of the um, promotional material and so that's very hard to do so I just eliminate that out of the equation it may be part of the secondary equation where you're digging a little bit deeper um, but at this very baseline approach, I'm not even going to worry about it or put the extra time and effort to go do all that digging until I know if the nutrients are actually there.